What's going on, guys? Brawlis here. So I just kind of wanted to have a discussion, a very calm, very friendly discussion surrounding what's going on with the video games industry, why I've been so disappointed in games like Outriders, uh, Predator Hunting Grounds, Anthem. You know, I think everyone was disappointed in that. And just kind of how I feel like the video games industry has lowered its standards over the last several years. Maybe not the video games industry, but more so the players, the gamers themselves. I feel like a lot of the reason we get shit games like Marvel's Avengers, Anthem, are simply because of us, the gamers, not necessarily the developers. The developers feed us what makes them money, right? At the end of the day, the reason I'm so hard on games like Outriders and microtransactions and things like that are because when the more we give these people, the more we give these developers our money when it comes to unfinished broken products, egregious microtransactions and things like that, the more the shareholders put pressure on these companies to turn out shit games like Avengers, like Anthem, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and other games just like that. You remember the controversy surrounding loot boxes? That was started because that was them pushing us to the limit to see how far EA could get away with pushing loot boxes and, and how egregious and predatory they could make those microtransactions. But they wouldn't have gotten that idea if we didn't buy into the bullshit in the first place. Let me explain. So, to use it as an example again, because it's the most recent game I did a impressions video for, Outriders. Outriders, the, the, the combat felt phenomenal. The shooting felt phenomenal. I, I wouldn't say phenomenal, but it felt good. It felt, it felt on point. I loved the combination of the powers and the abilities that you can do with the other players. But the biggest problem that I had with that game that was unforgiving for me was the level design. There are games like Warhammer 40K, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, even Star Wars Jedi Outcast that had better level design, and those games are over 10 years old. There is no excuse for these developers to, to just copy and paste these arena type levels and expect $60 of our hard earned cash for it, and then some of them like Destiny, they even have the balls to uh, charge you for cosmetics and microtransactions and shit like that. So this video is going to piss off the fanboys, but I don't give a f okay? Now, Rich here on this channel, The Seventh Sword, he loves Destiny, okay? He's a little disappointed with it as of recently, but he loves it. Me, on the other hand, I fucking despise that game. I hate everything that that game represents. I hate everything that, how the game was built, the systems, the loot. Everything was just awful, and I'm coming from, this is coming from somebody who was a Diablo fan, uh, who was a fan of Boulder's Gate and, the, and those traditional RPG style games where you had skill trees, mid-maxing, you had um, creative and diverse loot. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, the, the legendary loot and the legendary armors that you could get in Diablo, for example, weren't something that everybody could get. These games, unfortunately, do not know how to handle loot. So what do they do? They release timed seasons over and over again that require you to grind for this loot. Hey, you want the coolest gun? You want the coolest set of armor? Hey, spend 25 hours in our game or else when the season's over, you miss out. That's not how a loot system should work. Loot should be RNG. There should be plenty of options for, you know, the next legendary armor that you'll have to get by playing through the game a second time. Each playthrough should be different. I can't remember the last time I played through Diablo 2 and had the same experience every time. Now Destiny, for example, going back to that again, if you want the most recent, the newest exotic like Telesto, the, the Void Fusion Rifle or, or Foe Tracer, uh, the Hunter, whatever, you, you get what I'm saying. If you want these items, you just go buy them. You buy them from the vendor. Now how do you get the money? How do you get the currency, I guess, to, to buy these items? Not just microtransactions, that's an option, right? But you grind, you grind the same f***ing dull levels over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I don't know how these players do it, I don't understand. I don't understand this short-term memory that gamers nowadays have where they could just grind, the, they, they take something for $60 and most likely pay more with microtransactions and then they grind out the same dull levels that they've played over and over, fighting the same enemies, the same bosses. How did gaming become like this? Look at, go back to Diablo 2. I'm going to do a lot of comparisons, guys, to Diablo 2 because I consider that one of the greatest RPGs of all time. We can even talk about Boulder's Gate or even something like Divinity Original Sin 2. Excellent game, right? These games were different around every turn, every every area, like the stony fields in Diablo 2. You fought those goat dudes, and then you moved to the next area, and you found a completely different enemy set. And it was never the same thing. You never got the same loot every time. You, you never got the same unique bosses. It was different every time. So how does this all correlate? How does this all come together with my biggest complaint about what the video game industry is nowadays? I'll tell you how. These developers don't give a shit anymore. These publishers don't give a fuck. 
anymore. You see, back in the day, the video game industry was run by gamers. It was created by and for gamers. These developers made and published games that they wanted to play. They made games for the gamers and they would sell. That's why video gaming became so popular. Nowadays, you have these corporate suits that stepped in and these fucking publishers like EA and Activision and Take-Two only care about profit. They only care about making money. So they try to figure out a way to squeeze and drip dry all the gamers as much as possible in order to maximize profit to please shareholders. It's not about making a good game anymore. It's about making a profit. It's about who's got the biggest dick and who can swing it around. And then on the next shareholder earnings call, slap it on the desk and say, look what we did. And the problem is you, me, us gamers, we buy into this shit and we allow them to continue getting away with it and we encourage that behavior. Now this isn't the first time I've ranted about microtransactions in games, but when people come at me and they say, oh, the demo for Outriders was good, it was fun, and yes, I agree. I agree 100% that it was fun. I had fun with the whole game in general, even though the cutscenes and the camera shake was out of control and, and the acting was cringe and things like that, the shooting felt good, but the game felt soulless and it was a demo. Now, can you imagine playing what we played there? The same type of grindy, repetitive, just corridor open to like an uninspired open field with, with cover. Can you imagine spending $60 on that and having to play that type of level design for 20 to 60 hours, depending on how long the game is? If you say yes, raise your standards. Games could be so much better. Outriders has so much potential to be such a great game. And again, guys, it was a demo. It could be completely different, but with less than a month away from launch, if that's all we're gonna get and that's what we buy, then this is the game that we deserve as gamers. A demo is the best slice of the game that you put out in order to sell your game. That game was the whole, the, the entire demo was the same level over and over with a different skin. That for me is not very encouraging, nor does it convince me to say, sing its praises or spend $60 on it. All I'm saying is guys, we could do better. The gaming industry can do better, but we've got to learn when to control ourselves and to take a stand and to just say, F it, I'm done. I'm not supporting this, no. Our standards for quality have become so low that these publishers know that they could just shovel shit and we'll pick it up and we'll eat it. And for the fucking fanboys that want to sit there and defend these companies, people that make level design like Outriders, they make mission design like Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the same people that fanboyed over Anthem and said it was going to be the greatest game in the world after playing the beta, only to realize that it was going to get shut down. The same people that defend the corporate advertisement that is Marvel's Avengers. The same people that, def that defend Bethesda for Fallout 76. You are holding the rest of us back. We want quality games. We want quality experiences, memorable experiences. Let's all come together and let's make games great again. Oh, you can't say that, bro. What the fuck are you doing?